Hi, everybody. <sighs> Welcome back to my we rebranded channel back to Black Pixie. I doing a review on Mission Impossible. Me and my husband went to see Mission Impossible um Thursday on our anniversary, thirty three years of marriage. First, we went to um, Red Lobster and had a dinner, nice dinner, food was great. Then we took in a movie, and it was so, it, a lot of the movies aren't, I didn't really want to see, but Mission Impossible seemed to be the best one out of all the two. And we're going to go back and see Transformer with my grandson, 14. Then I'm going to do a review on that one. But, what did I get out of the Mission Impossible? Well, for one, Mission Impossible, that's all we see when we were younger. Mission Impossible, we, we saw Mission Impossible so much that the music was branded in our brains, literally. And it got to the place where it was just, it was just a part of the house, <laughs> so to speak, because Mission Impossible. That's all mom and daddy watch. So I didn't really want to see Mission Impossible because I was just tired of Mission Impossible from a child, especially the, from the music point of view. But I really don't remember too much about what happened on it at this, at this time, 62 years so my husband he didn't really want to see it either because we were tired out from seeing it younger but when we started watching he said oh it didn't put me to sleep I kept do it, it said, it's something about the movies when I'm watching the movies it's like it draws me into a sleep and then the big dramatic coming in our way and wakes me up. It did that about three times with this one. When I noticed it the last two movies I saw, it did that too. It just draw me into a sleep. But those movies, I <laughs> stay slept a little longer until somebody woke me up. But anyway, Mission Impossible, it was a very interesting movie. I kind of, um, it had me, um, it had me drawn in. And the four key things from Mission Impossible that I took from this movie was one the main character in it was AI and AI was two keys come together and you would know who created AI and how it's going to control and destroy humanity. So that's what AI was about. And the thing about it is if the key got into the wrong hands, someone was going to use it to control humanity. And if it get into the other person's hand, they want to destroy it, the key. That way nobody can ever get the key which is AI and destroy humanity. Now, more people wanted to destroy the key than those that wanted to keep the key. And one of the CIA agents in the organization um, who was supposed to take the key, get the key and um, destroy the key he realized he was the only person in the organization that wanted to destroy the key and everybody around him goal was to get the key and control AI 
And one thing I noticed in the AI, I, I think I think the main character was Tom Cruise. I don't know, cause I have facial blindness these days. So he he was the one that was supposed to get the key and destroy the key. So to distract us a little bit from the key, um, they needed to uh, AI needed to kill somebody that I'm um, the main character I forgot his name the main character who was trying to take who was trying to get the two keys because they had the keys separate one person had the key another person had the key but once one, but one, one person get both keys in the wrong hands they will control and destroy humanity but um, having trouble remembering the man's name, but um, main character, the main character. If you go see it, whoever the main character, I think it's Tom Cruise. I'm not sure. And then it's the girl. I forgot, I forgot the names, but anyway. But anyway, um, while Tom Cruise was, he had the key. They sent this um, they call her a crazy Russian killer girl. I mean, she was crazy. So. Why they had a man named Gabriel kill the first girl that he cared about while um, he had to choose between the two girls, which is the new girl that came up that um, had the key, and then she came and stole the key off of him, stole the key off the man who had the key. But it, it ended up being two girls. And um, the first girl... Why these names are why these names are slipping my mind is beyond me. Elsa. So the girl in the beginning was Elsa and he told and they killed her, but he he you know um she being alive so he told her to stay dead. So she stayed away and then at some point she decided to show back up to save his life. But the other girl the, the um I forgot her name. Her name probably come to me too. But anyway, the other girl she um he started to care about her and and even though everybody was trying to kill her she didn't understand why everybody we say everybody everybody every time you look up it's a different person trying to kill her so he trying to save her life and she's like why is everybody trying to kill me because she didn't trust him now she realized everybody trying to kill me she don't even know why <laughs> so at the end of that he's he told her that um he couldn't promise that especially after they finally killed elsa elsa the gabriel man finally killed elsa and then the um russian girl trying to kill the other girl he hear those beautiful um i think i think those are squirrels here so at the end he ended up um he ended up um telling her that he, he couldn't promise that nothing wouldn't happen to her. He could keep her safe, but he did promise that my life, I mean that your life, means more to me in my life. So that's the only thing he could say without lying because he said he was going to protect Elsa and they managed to get him away from Elsa by having him fight this crazy Russian lady. But in the end, he could have killed her, but he chose not to kill her and he just left her. And by the time he got to Elsa, the Gabriel man had already done beat her to a blood and kill her. So anyway, that's the part about the AI. How AI come evolve and how AI got him distracted. The show AI got into his crew of people that was guiding him. It's like a um how do I shut that door? It's like a um, game the kids playing, and they run around, you know, and they're telling them go right, go left, all of that. But in this, it was telling him what direction to go to get to Elsa. But the um, AI took over their um, hacking system that they were into. And they started directing him where to go. Go left, go down, straight down, go right, telling him all of that. And got him stuck into a corner. He like, what? 
he talking about this and that. He said, what do you mean? He realized he wasn't talking to his people no more. It was the AI talking to him, but it was the same voice as them. So they, so they just, AI just completely took control from his crew that was guiding him how to get to Elsa. He ended up in the, uh, in the show, a long way off out on the other side or something with the um, crazy Russian girl. And then he ended up fighting, fighting her, he ended up beating her, but instead of killing her, he let her live. So he just started running back to get the Elsa. So by the time he got the Elsa, she was already dead, living on some bridge across from one into the other or whatever. So he sat there a long time watching her. He said he, said he did. And then they came, him and his crew came back together. And that when he tell that girl, she could have to make a decision. She can either go back to her life, which you're going to be in jail, or she can be a ghost with them, because all of them been there. And he said she could have to make a choice. She didn't want to make a choice. They made her face and everything. She gave her a new face to go do whatever. But when they meant to make his face, the, um, the thing sh shorted out and burnt the mess up his face that they was creating a face for him. But they got her face. So after um, all of that AI, <coughs> I found another key point in the movie, crypto. So AI is run by crypto. I think I heard them mention Bitcoin, but they did mention crypto a lot. So AI is basically run by crypto, and I think it's on the blockchain. It's where AI is. It's where the AI is. So I heard that part in there. And then um, another point in the movie, because that's two, AI and then Bitcoin and crypto. So those are the three points that the movie was about. The fact that, um, I think it's four. What's the fourth one? Because um, it's the fourth one that they um, talked about. It was AI. Crypto is the AI running on the blockchain. So they are hearing all these your police. I hope they're not coming out here. So I hear where I'm at is nice, peaceful country. Uh, I can hear the police, but I don't got to be in the city. I don't like city. I like the country. But anyway, um, in the very end, how they end up, how they end up with the, um, they use a girl um, to go in on the train and, and, and then knock out this other girl who was the real girl. And she, they, they give her a face just like this girl. I think this girl was some kind of goddaughter to her. She's called goddaughter to the man or whatever. But anyway, she got the key. She got both keys that she put in together. She gave them to the man. And when he got the key, she went there. She, she told, well, it, it was the fake girl. But she wanted him to make sure. Oh, people, the police coming out here. I don't know, because like, as you see, it's nice and peaceful out here. I'm sitting in the yard doing my video. But anyway, in the end, um, the girl, she um, she gave the man the key, and the man gave her $100 million. Was, I think it was $100 million. And they took, and it, once it all ran through to her bank account, she's supposed to accept the money or decline the money. She declined the money, and the man, like, and she was like, it doesn't matter the keys in the right hand or whatever. Because, see, she slide a hand. She steal something off of you. So when she got up to leave, that when the girl finally come to, came from her knockout position, and she came there, and the girl got out, and the, and the girl looking, he talking about who was you, and the man realized he was dealing with the fake girl. So I think Tom Cruise, who is the main character in it, how he had to get there to save her, like he said. His her his life mean her life mean more to him than his. Is how he gonna make sure he on that train to save her. But he made it on the train and and they blew the bridge up. <laughs> they blew the whole bridge up, so the train going all down. 
This this is uh like a Spider Man. It's like a Spider Man. Remember when Spider Man when that train was stopping, the Spider Man was just going like a trying to um, save all them people on that train. That this is what this was. It was like a Spider Man scene. But anyway, him and her jumping as one train fall on down. He would him and the girl would get to the next, and she would pull him up. And then that one fall down, he'd get to the back and run to the next one. Um, she would she would get on, and she pull him up, and vice versa. She get on, and uh, he, well, you know I'm saying it back. We know what I mean. He pull her up, and then he pull her up, and then she pull him up until they got to the end of the train. And then at the end, of, at the end of the train, the people finally who he who the girl tricked. This girl, believe me, putting her hand up now. She took me how she puts her hand up. <laughs> she must have been the black person, but even though she went on the black person in it. But because she, she keep putting her hand up, cracking me up. So then, so she put her hand up, and they deciding who gonna, like he said, only one person can leave when the parachute can only fit one person. So she want him to go. He want her to go and save her. And she said, no, he go to save her. So the thing about it is with all these dogs but anyway he had to it made sense for him to get parachute down it look at this the parachute down in it's a big old gigantic um <laughs> grand canyon well he finally jump off the he finally jump off the train and and the man that uh wanted to take him in instead of he taking in the criminal he said i want you he letting the criminal go well he said i want you and, and his partner or whatever so whatever he is but anyway he see him down there floating with the parachute. He couldn't shoot him, so he turned around and looked at the girl. And the girl say, um, he said you would know if I need if I wanted to make a decision. And that man like, huh? And he say, I, I choose to be, I choose to be the ghost. He said, I choose to be a ghost. That man like, oh. And he realized what that man told her, because see, instead of her, going to jail for what she did he taking her with his other friends the crew what they did which and they all choose to be a ghost and do all that mission impossible work then go to jail but after he jumped off the train all the way down in this hanging space in this um grand canyon yeah i, I finally remember the fourth one the fourth one was um um, Tesla software because the dude, because you know, you always have the car, you always have a dude there ready to pick you up to make sure um, you get the ride. But when he floated on all the way down in the Grand Canyon or whatever, the dude was right there to catch him and put him in the car and they go riding off. But before that, when he told him he was on a motorcycle, the only he missed the train, so the only way to get on the train. He gonna have to go. He gonna have to go somewhere. I mean, on the side of a mountain, edge of a mountain on a motorcycle ride. And he said, "Um, you gonna have to catch that man." He said, "I see the tree." He said, "How in the world I'ma jump on the train? Jump on this train from this height? You still look like thousands of feet. No, but space. I couldn't even see a train. <laughs> there was so much um, vast space. So the man say, "Yeah, I keep forgetting the point. I'm for, don't forget the point." The point is, yeah, I already said the Tesla on software. The man said, "What? Yeah, that's right." So why he telling him to um, he have to jump? He like, how am I gonna jump? How am I gonna jump on this train? He did jump on it though. The man says, "I'm under a lot of pressure. I don't know you." you know. He's sitting on the edge of the mountain, looking down like, "What? You under a lot of pressure?" <laughs> That was the funniest thing I ever seen. He talk about he on a lot of pressure, trying to figure out how did your man just shut that door. Oh, what? No. We'll find it. Cause I don't take it out the bag. Cause I don't watch TV. But anyway, let me finish up this video. They're traveling this house somewhere. But anyway, um, but yeah. 
the thing what 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 get me about the Tesla on software was why he trying to figure out how he gonna catch up with this train and jump on the train. He gonna hit the button and say self drive. I said self drive. <laughs> I said he got the Bitcoin, blockchain, crypto, AI, and now Tesla software all in one movie. I thought that was that, that thought that was interesting. Cause that's what had my focus. It, it was because I was seeing how all the AI and crypto and blockchain and 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 uh, Elon Musk them all fit together in this movie. It was very interesting. If you are a technology person like me, you find this movie very, very hmm. What do you call it? Um, watchworthy. But yeah, that that's it for the that's it. The main points that I saw in there. It was all about AI, um, taking control and destroying humanity. And you had two separate people with the keys, and with the two keys come together, and if they get in the hands of the one who wants to control the world with it, versus the person who wants to destroy the key, so AI can't. I'll, I'll control the world and destroy humanity. And then the fact that AI is crypto on the blockchain. Which I look at this technology stuff all the time. And I look at so much of AI so I understand what AI is. But it never crossed my mind that AI was crypto on the blockchain. And that's, and, and that's where the world is going. Because I've already seen um, this um, technology all the way past 6. They call on um, um, the fastest thing we got now is 5. 5, what is 5? 5D, what it call? And they put the phone going up from 3, 4, 5. Now we on 5, then they're going to 6. I already see how the phones and everything are going to be operated on 6G. That's what it's 6G. So, if you ain't, um, if you're not paying attention and to what, and opening your eyes and being aware to what is going, how, uh, over the fact that this world has changed, you will be in utter shock to wake up and realize the world has changed. I see the change years ago. So as the change come, I'm already there. Like the change of the 6G, even though 6G hasn't gotten here yet, I'm there. I'm there. Because I don't choose to be lost and left behind in this world in this world as I'm on my spiritual journey and learning the technology along the way because spirituality and technology they are running um, what's the word parallel they're running side by side you can be all technology or you can be all spiritual but for some unknown reason, the path for me is both. Because I'm spiritually moving forward. And on these devices like my iPhone and my iPad and my um, Apple Watch and my Apple Pencil. I, got, I don't know what it is about me and Apple. Because I got the very first Apple phone to come out. Very, the very first time Apple phone came out, I got the Apple phone. Because I was waiting five years for it. Because me and Farmer's Telephone, I was telling them how I wanted my laptop to work. And I wasn't going to buy these things. That's just a waste of money to be buying internet. And I said, no, when you get it, where? The phone and the laptop working together, let me know. And that's when Apple phone came out in 2007. And I got the very first, I got the Apple phone when it very first came out. Then I got the iPad in 2010, the very first one to come out. And in 2015, I got the Apple Watch, the very first one. I got it on my arm now, the Apple Watch. 
But I just got, got a newer watch. I think um, last year, year for last, because I wanted a newer watch. And, but I love them both. But I keep this one as a souvenir because it's the very first Apple Watch. I got the very first iPad. Very first phone. I don't know where it is. I'll probably set it on eBay somewhere. And the very first iPad. I don't have the very first Apple Pencil because I just got the Apple Pencil a few months ago. But I got the Apple Pencil to fit the um, Apple, to fit the I, uh, um, iPad Generation 9. So the pencil needed to work with the 9 because the pencil don't work. The second, I, th I think I got the second generation, I don't know. But they don't work with all iPads and they don't work with iPhones at all. But anyway, to sum up, with everything we didn't buy, um, me and my husband went on our, our 33rd wedding anniversary. We went to Red Lobster. We had a nice dinner. And a nice Red Lobster dinner. I got the New Orleans, I got the salmon New Orleans with this new drink. They got the little five dollar um, happy hour drink they be doing. It was awesome. And I might, um, anyway. It was nice. I got the strawberry and what it was. It was awesome. Nice little new drink they had, and I and my husband got the um the endless shrimp. He got that. Then we went and saw Mission Impossible, and it was started at seven thirty. It ended, I guess, around ten, whatever. It was great. It satisfied my eye for technology because. I'm just seeing it everywhere. It just catches my attention. Well, anyway, that's it for this video. If you like the video, um, thumbs it up. Subscribe to my channel as I'm slowly figuring out what, how I want this channel to flow. Cause YouTube is whatever YouTube is, they're doing it to everybody. So it ain't about me, but um. And I'll see you next time. Bye.